Hiya, Stubble Coal here. Welcome to post two, or constructional post two. This is post three of Build a Box Guitar, if you count the demo video at the beginning. So anyway, where have we got to? Well, if you remember the last time we looked at marking out where the neck's gonna go. So at the moment, what we've done so far is once we've marked it, let's take these clamps off. And I'll explain what that's all about in a minute. Why the clamps are there. So anyway, if I was doing this construction on a cigar box, I'd probably put some, some reinforcing wood inside. And that's what this is in here. That's what those clamps are all about. This is a piece of hardwood. And what it is, is the tail piece is going to fix onto this, this end. And so is the strap button. And I don't want to put lots of force on this side of the box. So I've reinforced it with a piece of hardwood. You'll notice that piece of hardwood does not touch the back and it does not, or the bottom of the box, and it does not touch the lid. I don't want to affect the reson resonance. Now, what I've done in the meantime, if you remember, we talked about fitting the neck. Now, once you've got the neck in, which mine is, as that is now, let's just rest that on there. Once you've got that neck in like that, then you can measure with your scale length, get your exact mark where your bridge needs to be, and that's your centre line. I then you make draw a cross, because I've already had a centre line running along, so we do one up and down. That gives you your centre mark for your, um, and I use a compass, like at school. And um, there we go, that's in there. Now what you can see, what I've got to the point now where I've also, while I was, um, marking and cutting that out. I've also cut out for the magnetic pickup and these larger holes are for the sound grommets and then these two are going to be for volume and tone. So as you can see that's already now taking shape as a guitar. And like I say it's reinforced on this side to take the take the um, tail piece and there's the bridge in there, that's uh, the uh, neck in there. So obviously the next thing I've got to do now is um, oh, that's a nice slug fit. I'll show you that actually. I'll hold that up to the camera because um, that is a very nice. I don't know if you can see the join, but uh, there's no gnarly edges. Very nicely tight in there. That's good. That will work fine. So yeah, the next stage I'm at now is I've got to build the uh, the block that goes inside, and then uh, drill through and fix the neck. Once I've got to that stage, we're almost at the point of um, preparation for, um, for for painting. So it's, it will have a final sand. I want to go around all the edges, take all the sharp edges off, finish all this off nicely, and then it's ready for two or three coats of paint, uh, a boot print, and um, this is going to be splattered if you've seen the Pollock ones, and then it will be three coats of varnish it'll be ready to assemble. While I've got coats of varnish drying and all that kind of stuff, I'll be building the wiring loom from components. We'll have a look at that too. So check back. Uh, the next post is gonna be the neck block. Thanks for looking. Cheers, bye-bye.